This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. Turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind with beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash bangbang for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use that offer code bangbang to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. If you're a lonely spider who feels like an outsider, then have some wor- worm friends. Oh, I thought it said warm, warm friends. No, it's worm friends. Okay, this makes more sense. If you're a lonely spider who feels like an outsider, then have some worm friends over for the fire pie and spider cider. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't know why I picked that one. It had a lot of words, and I didn't read it beforehand, and there it is. Uh, thank you, though, to the sad, no, Labus the Sad Prince. What does that mean? Labus the Sad Prince <laughs> for that catchphrase submission. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week, another episode. And what an episode it is. Uh, coming up a little later on the show, we have an advisor. Wow. That sounds amazing. Maybe I'll get some advice or, or maybe he's here to give advice to other people, uh, not including me. Uh, and also a little later, we'll have a girlfriend. That's weird. <laughs> a girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Well, sure. That's coming up later in the show. My name's Scott Ackerman. Welcome to the show. And uh, returning to the show, a returning champion, some might say. Oh, there are champions crowned yeah, do we, in the Bang Bang? Yes, we do. We crown a champion at the end of the show. So uh, in your previous episode that you were on, we did not give you an award. Is that correct? I received zero certificates. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, maybe you didn't do all that well. Perfect. However, though... Uh, now you are returning, which makes you a champion. Oh, thank you. You weren't a champion before and are returning. I'm so excited. You have returned, and that thus that makes you a champion. Yeah, as a German, we can't really accept awards or any kind of positive distinctions. <laughs> it's part of the contract, so. I know you're you're fully able to give out a lot of negativity and... and uh, yes, yes, we exude it, and then we direct it towards ourselves. Right. And that's just how it works. Uh, you know him from uh, such things as his comedy... Uh, you know him. I believe I saw him on uh, Homeland. Did I not see yeah, you on Homeland? Homeland? I was also, there's a Trader Joe's uh, just in uh, Toluca Lake. I, <laughs> Toluca Lake? I, yeah. I used to live right next to it. Oh, yes. From 9 to 9.30, every morning I get the Go Raw Trail Mix, two packages. So <laughs> okay. I've seen you there many times. Why not buy in bulk and uh, then you wouldn't have to go every day? Cardiovascular exercise is very important, Mr. Ockman. That is your only cardiovascular exercise is going to and from Trader yes. Joe's. I burn the calories since I ate them and repeat, like the shampoo. <laughs> okay. So you're staying at neutral. You yes. Had, you you burn enough calories for that trail mix, and yeah. then you eat it off. It is like the stock market. It's a zero-sum calorie game. <laughs> yes. Um, you're playing the stock market wrong, by the way. Uh, but we Oops. do want to introduce you. You've also seen him in the Pitch Perfect films, uh, or, or one of them. I can't recall. I think only one. Only one. Number two. Is that right? Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. I have not. I don't You've know. You've done so much in your career, you barely remember it. I don't watch anything. I have. Really? You've yes. never watched any of your performances? I don't watch anybody's of anything. I just. You I, don't watch anyone's no, performances? I'm busy walking. You've never seen movies or TV? No. No, no. I watch plays uh, primarily in Northern Bavaria. <laughs> really? And then I once participated in a sexy contest in <laughs> Northern Franconia. <laughs> you participated? That. Yeah, I did. How did. And were you a returning champion there? I, no, or? I placed three. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, bronze. The bronze. Bronze, Sorry. sexy. What yeah. did and and we'll introduce you in a moment. What did you have to do in order to participate in this competition? Was it uh, first of all, what did you have to do to entry? Yeah, entry to enter. Yeah, and what did you have to do uh, whilst you were in the competition? You have to have an occupation, and so they're like, "What is your occupation?" And then I said, "I'm a hype man." And so then I did hype man a local library in Erlangen is my hometown. Okay, and so I did pump everybody up very hard with some Beastie Boys. Okay, and this is how I was accepted into the contest. And to whom were you hyping? Uh, normally, a hype man is an accessory, right? Uh, yeah, uh, part of a uh, part of a team. Am I right? This is correct. Yeah, I recruited two senior citizen females uh, who 
were in a continuing education class of Spanish <laughs> and they were renting some books. And so I said, may I hype you into the library, please? Mm -hmm. They were renting the books. They were renting the books. Okay, and so I was renting them as my hype. That's man. not the typical library situation. Normally it, you just borrow them. It was odd. Yeah, yeah. Everyone did not understand <laughs> what was happening. Okay. They, they just uh, erected a library and, and thought that they should rent out the books. Yes. Everyone was erect mm -hmm. and we filmed it. And then, oh, well. <laughs> So that's what you did for the competition. Yes. Uh, returning to the show, Flula is here. Hello, Hello. Flula. Hello. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you very much. You're wearing a Famous Monsters t-shirt, of which there is one monster, uh, I believe, by the name of Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is the most close to the dinosaur Triceratops. I could not find my Triceratops t-shirt, so I'm wearing this. You couldn't find it, really? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's too bad. And he, uh, I, I believe he has a subway car in his mouth? Yeah, he's munching on trains. That's how big he is. See, when you... When you uh, show a picture of Godzilla, yeah. you need to show something that shows how big he is for scale. Yeah, sometimes a nickel or perhaps a dime. Sure. Yeah. That would be, see, now, uh, normally I see a picture of Godzilla and he has a tiny nickel by his toe. So smart, you know, <laughs> but then where is the rest of body? This is a large right. t-shirt you're wearing. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, how have you been? It's so good to see you back. I'm very good. Uh, my blood pressure is a normal range. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, I have been exercising very much. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, recently, I started a podcast called Boom Time. Boom Time, is, yes. Yeah. That is your... Or uh, uh, one of one of your catchphrases. Am I right? Boom time. Yeah. Well, boom is it always? I scream it, and then I like to say like, "What time is it? It's boom time." Right. You know. And and is that uh, primarily what happens on the podcast? Most people, I say, "What time is it?" And then if they are incorrect, we continue until they say "boom time," okay. and then we do an ad read. Okay. And then we are finished. <laughs> so this is about two minutes long, depending on if they get it or not? You can be surprised. There are some people, 45 minutes, we have a podcast. It's lots of guessing. Um, and uh, you're, you're one of a, a, a Germany's great comedians. Is that is that correct? Nobody knows. I did not know that people thought I was a comic person. So nobody knows. You, you just put your stuff out there. You don't know if people think it's funny, if, if people think it's serious. Yeah, I have a reggae album. Some people said best album ever. Other people wrote just sent me doo, doo you know so like it you don't know right, right, right. what will happen and uh you were out there uh, uh opening for uh or not opening for conan o'brien but uh, you, you're his uh disc jockey is that correct that's correct yeah yeah conan o'brien host of conan needs a friend an earwolf podcast <laughs> okay oh, sure yes he, free drop yeah he needs a little more advertising he does he does <laughs> i'm his dj and yes i do open the show to and explain to people how pumped up they must be before conan enters and how pumped up should they be it should be so your ears do you have you heard of tinnitus yes of you course. should you should develop it <laughs> just that uh, particular evening yes before conan is entered you mm -hmm. need to feel like a big out. that's how pumped up people need to be for conan absolute really yeah. and, oh, and, yes. and that helps his performance or i don't know this is just my job <laughs> yeah has has his performance changed based based upon how you perform your tasks i think so but also i am clueless so i'm mm. just happy if i don't expire and if conan is excited and i would like to see you in a remake of clueless speaking of that i would love this in as the well. alicia silverstone role oh will we do this yes let's I, do this i will start growing my hairs <laughs> Which ones? Your beard or? Oh, no, the top. Oh, okay. The top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the top follicles. Okay. And then, yeah. How many can you grow? Let's see. We got the top. Top. We got the right under the nose there. Yeah, two of those. Uh, we got uh, the chinny chin chin. And the nippies. And the nippies, right. Yeah. The Now, down below, those don't grow. No, I shave that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got Always. it. Always. Always. Yeah, yeah. As you say, airport. <laughs> You know? That's, yes, the landing strip. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you have a little Brazilian? <laughs> well, I'm like Chicago. So there's O'Hare and Midway, so I have two strips. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the the podcast is Boom Time, and who who appears on this uh, uh, program? What type of guest do you have? Do you have uh, community activists? Uh, like, sometimes I have, l listen to my guest today, advisor and girlfriend. Is this very, the type of thing that you have on your show? This is vague. Are these like illegal aliens? Why I, are I, so... I don't know why they're hiding the, what they do and their identity. I don't, I don't understand. I'm excited and afraid to meet them. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, on Boom Time, we have any normal guests like uh, Edward Helms, if you've mm. heard of this person. And Yes, I Ed Helms, I do know. Is okay. that, yes. I, I, I like to, okay, Ed yeah, Ed is way I'm. I'm a little more familiar with him. I think okay. uh, I went to see okay. one of his movies, and they called him Ed, and it was sort of like, oh yeah, call me Ed. Oh, it's oops, implicit in that. It's like potato mm -hmm. pot. Yes, got it. Um, also, uh, very strange Olympians, Nick Simmons, who uh, was an Olympian and also can run the beer mile, which is a real event. The beer mile. You are chugging many beers, four beers in one mile. This is not a you joke. Have, you have to do four in one mile. Every point two five miles, you must chug at the beer. 
You have to chug it before you can continue. You must chug it before you can lug it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've heard of lick it before you kick it, but chug it before you lug it. Yes, this is a new one. Um, and uh, so by the end of one mile, yeah. you've drank four beers. Four beers. How many miles is it? Just one? It's one, and it is. Uh, he has his record is seven minutes. Seven minutes? That's not bad. I can run a mile in about uh, 20, 20 or so. So, yeah, yeah. That's pretty under below and average. And I'm, I'm not yeah. drinking the beers during that. Yeah. So maybe it would give me a little wind beneath my wings. Exactly. Some chariots of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And is there, could they also have a competition of how many beers one could drink while running a mile? How many beers could a beer chug chug if a chug could chug the run? Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. I that, would could like be, that could be a separate competition. They could run side by side. Someone could be trying to do it fast while drinking four. Yeah. The other person could just be like, as fast as I can go, as many as I go. By the end of the mile, I, if I drink 20, yeah. then I win. Vomit no loses. matter how fast or slow I go. I like this very much. I it would could take all night. Any days, any mm -hmm. nights, all the fortnights. <laughs> I'll play this, yes. Yeah. Let me know when this has happened. If this is a podcast, I will start it as well. And so you talk to these people on the show, and uh, they uh, 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 it's a conversational show. Uh, yeah. Much like this one, we're having a conversation right now. We are, are conversing. We not? Yes, we are <laughs> conversing so deep and hard. And I do this also with my guests. Uh, I ask questions <clears throat> that I perhaps they have not heard before. Oh, really? Like and, what? Well, it's usually the sentence structure that they have not heard before, because mm. as a German person, we are it's very— It's a little backward. The syntax is a little— <laughs> They hear a subject, they don't know where is the predicate, <laughs> and they must wait minutes. <laughs> so it can be confusing. It can, it can be very confusing, but that's yes. part of the fun. Absolutely. And I'm super excited all the time. Uh, yes. Like, as you I've know. never seen you in a bad mood. Yeah, it does not exist. <clears throat> Right. Yeah. You, you just wake up this way. Is that right? I do. I scream boom time and then I go, I, I put on pantaloons and I do it. <laughs> so is that, I, and I, if, if you're out there and you're wondering, how do I get in a good mood for the day? Because a lot of people like uh, today is a Monday. Yeah. You know, you, you, you open your weary eyes and it's like, oh, fuck, the whole week is, is about to start. If you just scream boom time. Yeah. That gets you up, right? It immediately improves your heart rate. You feel very good. And mm -hmm. if you think a bad thought, well, then just pee on it. <laughs> Very good. See, this is you have a, was such a wonderful uh, a point of view, a POV, as I like to say. Yeah, PPOV. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, uh, wait, do you have any tips for uh, the? Uh, you know, a lot of people listen to this show trying to uh, 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 get into a better mood. We have a fun, just uh, light-hearted show. Yeah. Do you have tips for people out there for uh, uh, people struggling with mental health? Yeah, I think scream into a pillow. Mm. And then if this does not work, scream into two pillows. Mm. And it's just, just adjust the pillow number. Yeah, yeah, increase your pillows. Mm -hmm. And then if this does you not might work, find your pillow number at some. For some people, it might be five. Yeah, and some people fit fifteen. Right, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. We have no idea, but that's at some point you're going to find your pillow number and you'll feel great. And then you can scream. And right. if these pillows don't work, then scream at real life people on the street for no reason. <laughs> sure, I think I've seen some people using this method. Oh yes, absolutely. Franklin and Hillhurst. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Falula, you're a, a, a wonderful, uh, uh, just, a, just a ray of sunshine. Oh, you, you, Do you get sunshine in Germany? We do, but I hate it, which is why I've written a techno song called uh, Clouds, Why Are You Hiding? <laughs> which I wrote when I moved to Los Angeles. <laughs> Usually the clouds are hiding the sun, but you, you see the opposite. Yeah, because why? The <laughs> sun is just, you, you, as, as you can see, I'm a honky-donk uh, pale person. Yes, so, you are. You, you and I are having a pale off right oh, now. Oh, I am winning so hard. We're, yeah, yeah, we're in the Paley Festival right now. That's a good Correct. Yes. Um, and uh, 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 you, uh, what, how, what has your life been like? You now live here in Los Angeles. What has it been an adjustment for you? Yes, I'm very confused by the traffic. There are so deep. Mm. Um, there are no. There's not a lot of traffic in Germany, well, or just everyone's on a moped. We have mopeds. We have cycles. And mm -hmm. now, but now they're like, oh, we have solved it in America. We have the bird. The bird scooter. I saw one of those by my house the other day. I was like, what the fuck is this doing here? I agree. Like you see them in the urban, uh, you know, areas, but by my house? Right. You know? And, uh, where, oh, yes. Where hey, who, just, who just left it there? How? Yeah, they just poops them it, out. It's, it's just, just, you just like drive wherever you want to go and then you just toss it off to the side of the street. It's ridiculous. I do not like this. We're going to be sitting, walking around. There's just like scooters lying everywhere. I didn't sign up for that. I agree with this so hard, Mr. Ackerman. <laughs> so, but, but has it been an adjustment for you? I mean, it's the land of sunshine. I do not like the weather, yeah, because here in Los Angeles, there is no weather. It does not shift. You know, mm -hmm. there are no four seasons like the pizza. It's just one season and it's just <laughs> too bright, too bright, bright like big city. And I need some change. Imagine just having cheese pizza all your life. Who is wanting this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, give me some pepperoni. 
<laughs> it took me a second to understand what you just said, but yeah, once once uh, I did. Well, we say salami, so I have to always switch. When I say salami, people are like, what is this? What is do it you the mean? exact same thing, salami and pepperoni, or do you have what we call salami on pizzas? We only say salami, and when I say it, everyone is like, you mean Rashan Salam, the running back from the Colorado Buffaloes? Everyone, that's a common mistake to uh, make. I said, no, salami, like the pork meats, delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now I say pepperoni. Okay, now you say pepperoni. Yeah. Uh, so that's been the biggest adjustment for you. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, you know. You knew this when you saw me in the face. You're like, oh. Oh, meat, this guy, yeah. Meat shift. Meat-based yes. uh, confusion. Absolute. Um, well, Flula, it's always wonderful to have you on the show. This is your second time. Uh, how many do you think you'll eventually do? 2.4. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll have you back yeah. and kick you out yeah. at, about uh, four-tenths of the way through. Four-tenths, I'm out. And yep, I will enjoy Larry nice- Fortenthsky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, uh, tell you what. You can stick around. Why don't we, you and I, you're the host of a podcast. I'm the host of a podcast. Let's co-host this podcast Stop together. Stop the presses. You know, you don't have to be like Conan's hype man with me. You can just be like an equal. We're we're peers. I don't think it's allowed yet. I'm very happy to be subverted by you. Okay, just to great. be there to support you with those hands, you know, on the dove as they... Okay, s- I don't know what you're doing with your hands sorry. right now. Sorry. I was like when they throw it to... Throw win- the doves like in a wedding? Or the a- ravens going to Winterfell to tell everyone oh, that... Oh, okay, yeah. You know, that's a more common reference than... And doves at a Show, wedding. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yes. people don't really throw the doves at weddings anymore. That used no. to be a big thing. John Woo killed it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Now they're like, oh, it's a cliche. Yeah, stop it. Oh, please. That's like, you know, late 90s Woo. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Unlike Wu Tang, 25 years, 36 oh, chambers. What? That, what? Oh. Have you thought about that? John Woo and the Wu Tang clan were popular around the same time. Why have they not created like a, a perfect Halloween Something costume? together. Yeah. The John Woo Tang clan. Yes. The Visit, perfect Trissa, portmanteau. Old dirty bastard, some doves, inspector deck, <laughs> break one, ghost face killer, and more doves. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I, I want you to get in here. I want you to ask as many questions as I ask. But by oh. the end of the show, yeah. I want there to be an equal number of questions. We'll tally them up. Someone take a tally, if you could. Take a tally of every question asked. And I want there to be an equal number betwixt the two of us. Is this real or are you like being a Kentucky waitress who's like, hey, y'all have so much sweet tea. But really, you're like, leave me alone. I want to stay in the back and check my Sudoku puzzles. I'm a little like the waitress. I got to admit. So I will be 25%. (laughs) Okay, great. Perfect. (laughs) All right. Well, let's get to our first guest. Uh, Not, I mean, you're our first guest, but I I consider you to be a peer and a co-host. So, uh, but not really, but you've said it. But not really. I want you at like 25%. Then I will accept it. All right. So let's get to our first or really second guest. Yeah. Uh, he is an advisor. Oh, the aforementioned advisor. And uh, he's wearing a hoodie and this is uh, very exciting. Uh, please welcome to the show. Oh, this is interesting. Sprig the Whisperer. Hello, Scott. Hello. You said that so creepily. Hello, Flula. Hello, uh, Mr. Whisperer. Let me correct you. It's Sprig the Whisperer. Spr- Sprague? Yes, Sprague. How, how is that spelled? S. You can go faster. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Okay, let me get this S down. All right, and got it. P. Okay, well, I, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I am almost locked in and got it. Ah. A, is that A-H? <laughs> no, no. S B R. R. Okay, got A. It. A. G. G. U. U. Sp- E. Okay, Sprague. Sprague, Sprague. The Sprague the Whisperer. That's right. Scott. And I thought you were wearing a hoodie, but that you're not. What is this? This exactly? is a cloak. This is a cloak. Oh. This is what a cloak is. Yes. And how do you spell that? C. K. <laughs> no, 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 not K. Sorry. C. Oh, C. C. L. L. Got it. O. A. K. K, of course, yes, that's how you spell cloak. I'd always wondered. I really hope this doesn't turn into a spelling bee. (laughs) Because that would not be good for spring. Try not to say any huge words. That's true. (laughs) I may test you on. That's true. Well, I'm here just to advise, Scott. Just to advise? Yes, I'm an advisor. What does that mean, an advisor? Throughout the years, Scott, I've whispered into the ears of very important men. 
Mm, okay. And women or mainly men? Mostly men. Got it. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, half women, half men. Half, half women, ha- so equal, an equal amount of women and an <laughs> equal amount of men. Absolutely well, that's, equal. That's very wonderful of you. It's true. <laughs> J- just to be clear, you're not speaking about someone with both genitals. No, well, I have an equal amount of those as well. <laughs> okay, wonderful. so wait. It's So it's you can half- divvy up the number of people yes. into whose ears you've whispered. Yes. Th- one third men, one, one third, third women, women, one third, third hermaphrodites. One third uh, miscellaneous. Side side. Got it. <laughs> Anything. Okay. Anything goes at this point. Now, Scott, of yes. course, I am here to whisper. Of course. To you, Mr. Ackerman. Oh, my gosh. You, uh, uh, do, do you find me important? Is that Well, of course, Scott. You host a podcast. Oh, well, so does Flula here. So. Oh, you host a podcast as well. Yes, but uh, only 25% as cool as Oh, okay. As Mr. Okay. Yes, well, I can work with that as well. Okay, okay, but you are going to f- have to find two more women if you whisper into both of, of course, our ears. Of course. Two more women and two more Well, I've actually have the t- I've already done the I'm catching up here. Oh, okay, yeah, you've already got the women. Who were, who were the women? Anne Hathaway. Oh, wow. Can you spell that for me? Okay. <laughs> I can. I believe. I believe it. It's A N N E. I think so. I think so. H A W A. I think there may be an errant W in there somewhere. Yes. Whatever, Scott. <laughs> I, I'm not a speller. I'm an advisor, Scott. Oh, okay. And I have some adv- advice for you, Scott. You have some advice for me. Yes, because Why am of I course. whispering? Well, well, you shouldn't be whispering because I'm spraying the whisk bird. Okay, so I should just be talking full talking volume. Talking full volume. Okay, but I, I worry that if I talk at this volume, you're going to be forced to come up to me, to okay, my Okay, well, well, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> so wait, I thought this is a, your whole thing, being well, the whisperer. I, well, whisper, it's, it's also, it's whispering I do, it's fun, but also I, I'm really just telling you what to do with your career. So. Oh, I oh. see. It okay. does not need to be literally no, whisper. No, it doesn't okay. 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 So this is career-based advice. This is, well, Scott, I have some career-based advice for you. You do? Okay, hit me with it. Scott, have you heard of the franchise Three Ninjas? <laughs> Oh, three ninjas. <laughs> yes, Scott. I believe, is this not uh, a children's This is film? three children who are, I believe, raised by Pat Morita <laughs> and taught karate. And they- He then, had a really interesting, he wasn't just him, karate-based it career. Wasn't him. It, it was not him. Okay. And quite honestly, it's racist that I thought it was. <laughs> okay. Oh, spray. It's someone spray. else. It's someone else. But Scott, I want you to get the rights to this film. To get the rights to it. Who yes. do you know who originally held the rights? No, you might have to speak with your Maybe New Line or something. Maybe like New Line, I, I believe. Can look that up. And then I want you to reboot it, Scott. To reboot it? Yes. Why not a continuation with the three kids now as adults, the three adult ninjas? Well, that was the that was the pitch. That's not a reboot. That's just the, no, that's, no, a, that's a sequel. Not really a reboot. It's re- a late well, sequel. Well, I guess you could reboot it with you with I, the same actors if they're grown up. I, I yeah. also thought, you know, they're grown up and then they also have kids of their own, Scott. What? Three. Oh. It's six ninjas. Six yeah. ninjas? So, yes, Scott. Oh, wait, what am I doing in this? You're writing the spec, of course. I'm writing it on spec? <laughs> yes, Scott. Even if I buy the rights, I then have to write it on spec? <laughs> Sprague, I have a question. Of course. What's in it for you, Mr. Vespera? Oh, well, 10%, of course, God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you just an agent? No, Scott. I'm a producing manager. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What, what what management company are you with? Mosaic, Scott. You're with Mosaic? Yes. Oh, man. Scott, Wait. I have, to, I have to have you, Scott. Hold on. This is just a pitch for me to, to leave my own manager and go sign with you? Well, Scott, I'm not just a manager. I'm also a whisperer, Scott. <laughs> Okay. And let me just say, Scott, I would advise you to sign with me because these days podcast hosts are dropping like flies. Oh, my gosh. That's very ominous. What what, what do you mean? I'm trying to think of any. Well, you know, nerdist that I guess ended. (laughs) 
I mean, it's not the, okay. <laughs> so all right. we you know, sort of went down very down. dicey territory <laughs> right now. <laughs> A lot of the podcast, you know, they went elsewhere. You know, okay, yeah, you know. but what else? Doughboys is doing pretty good. Don't, now you're just naming ones that are doing well? Yes. You know, I advise Doughboys to do a Patreon, Scott. Oh. That's they, of course. They do very well for themselves, even though they hide well. the number. They don't let anyone see the number, <laughs> no. Scott, because it's getting too embarrassingly big. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my whisper, Scott. How dare you, Scott? Now, of course, I know you're UTA fam, of course, right? Of course, yes, I, I am at UTA. But uh, I have a great relationship. Spell that, by the way. Can you spell that? Oh, yes, of course. Hold you. On, yeah. You, okay. Yeah. T. T, great. A. A, uh-huh. Okay. F. F. A. A. You tougher. You fam. tougher. Oh, fam. oh, it's to my UTA oh, yeah, fam. M, M, yes. M. yes, of course. Yes, yes. Now, UTA fam. Yes. Now, Scott, I have a great relationship with UTA, you know. Of okay, course. but <laughs> why? I'm just saying, Scott. All right, all right. I have some more whispers for you, Scott. Okay. What about, have you heard of the franchise Surf Ninjas? <laughs> I smell a theme a little bit. I Are you, can I ask you a question? Are you interested in ninja-based movies, or do you they actually... They do very well in Four Quadrants, Scott. They do well. Okay, they do well with adults, with kids. Kids, um, dogs. Dogs and miscellaneous. <laughs> miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Yes. <laughs> Wait, how many dogs do you whisper to? <laughs> oh, I whisper to many dogs. I whisper to the dog from uh, Marlo and me. Or whatever. What about Blog with the dog? Oh, yes. Marlo and me. Marlo. That's the alternate title to <laughs> Evan User Screwed. Yes, of course, Scott. I thought that was the Wire reboot, but yes, I got it. Marlo. Those, 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 they have to fall. They, they don't, you know, they play by. They don't play by the rules. This game is rigged. That's what are you talking about? <laughs> that stuff they say in the wire, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, of course, Scott, the surf ninjas franchise. So you like the wire and you like ninja based. <laughs> yes, I watch the wire. I really pitch mostly ninja based content. Okay, so. Now, now Scott. Uh, yeah. Surf Ninjas, great movie. Rob Schneider. I don't recall. Okay, so Rob, Rob Schneider, Schneider was, in was it? one of the ninjas. Scott. He was one of the ninjas. <laughs> ah. Yes. Remember when he was a movie star? Yes. Yes. Crazy. It was insane. I mean, I mean you look at like, okay, Trump's president. That's crazy enough. That's but crazy. There was like a ten year period that Rob Schneider was starring in movies. He did a <laughs> gigolo movie. He was the yes. freaking star of that. He was in Judge Dredd, I think. Or he something. did one where he played like a white woman. Remember? It's crazy. Oh, just yes. crazy. I would not have whispered that, Scott. <laughs> so you don't represent Rob. Schneider. Oh no! Can but, you see the mistakes his career? I would have never okay. Scott. So, but you, uh, uh, who else was in the Surf Ninjas? Well, uh, Surfing Ninjas. Surf Ninjas. We have uh, the Reyes, Eddie Reyes Jr. The, the, I don't recall him. <laughs> he, the father of Eddie Reyes. Oh, got it. Got it. Yes, got it. Yeah. yes, of course. Now, Scott, if you haven't seen this movie, why am I pitching it to you? You know, I, I, I know my clients. You know. <laughs> What are you asking me? If I haven't seen it, why yes, are you doing it? Yes. I have that question myself. Of course. Why? Well, let me. I could, of course, pivot, Scott. I could pivot to something else, Scott. I, <laughs> of course. What other ninja? There was a Chris Farley ninja movie. Oh yes, right? Beverly Hills Ninja. Oh, Beverly. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to reboot that, Scott? I could take you to a pod. I know a few guys over at Funny or Die. <laughs> Did you just switch accents, <laughs> no, Scott? Yeah, Sprig, Where are you from? I'm just so curious. I am from a place long, long ago. <laughs> Sorry, I see I, text we're not asking time. Me. What time are you from? We're to, to like literally location. I am from Tampa, Florida. <laughs> okay, Tampa, Florida, and wh how long ago? Where did you live there? Ten years ago. <laughs> okay, so you moved out here. You became a manager. I'm not a, just a manager, Scott. You're a I'm producing manager. Also a producing manager. Also a whisperer. Scott. And you own the rights. Let me now guess. I own two the child to ninjas, surf ninjas, surf three ninja. ninjas, Beverly Hills ninja, American ninja, American ninja, yes. American ninja warrior. Is that what that is? That's a TV show. That's a TV. So you uh, don't own the rights to that. No, Scott. But I could get you 
a meeting maybe with them if you'd like. Is that something you want? To, I to be a contestant? <laughs> I no, Scott. I can help you in any way, Scott. Come to come on over. I don't think I I have a good manager. Flula, are you looking for a manager right now? Or I think I'm solid, but oh, yeah. I, I do very much love you, Sprague. I have a question for you, actually. Of course. Sprague, was there ever a time in your life where you miss whispered? Yes. You whispered. I whispered, Scott. No, that's flu. I see that. <laughs> I know. But, just, I only, but my name is just so much just, it, in whatever accent you're doing. It's, so, it's easier to say. It does sound Scott. cool to say Scott. It's almost as if it's my favorite thing to say. <laughs> so now, you, you whispered to, to whom? I've, of course, whispered to Kevin James Scott. Oh, yes. wait, wait, in the whatever show that is that he had? Yes, that Kevin Can Wait. Kevin Scott. Can Wait. Big what? mistake. Now, the title's not bad. Not what? Not bad, but I was the one ad that advised him to kill off his wife. No, not Aaron Hayes, friend uh, of the show. She's a friend of the show, friend of, you know, me and Jay. I love Aaron, would love to work with her. Right, but you whispered, hey. I whispered, hey. Write her off the show. <gasps> Bring back the old hits. Mm. And of course, there was a backlash, Scott. Not only write her off, but kill her off. Kill her off. And then make it, an off-color joke about it. Scott. In the most gruesome way possible. Yes, they were, I pitched that they cut her head off like the end of <laughs> season one of Game of Thrones. <laughs> like oh. the ISIS videos? Well, no, that's where you went. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That was dark, Scott. God, at least the Game of Thrones thing had some class. At least it was shot fictional. With, it was fictional shot with some integrity. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, so you're... <laughs> You're upset at how they were shot in the DP yeah, of, of the ISIS videos? They're so well lit and just no cuts at all. No thank well, you. Well, one cut, but yes. Yeah. Oh, well, Flula, well, that's not, you know... Flula, that was pretty funny. Thank you, Sprague. That was actually... Maybe you could pivot over to him. Yes, that was actually incredible. Flula, are you represented right now? Um, yes. You are? Yes. Yes, my fa my parents are... I'm a child. Oh, yeah. I'm a child. They're you, my managers since oh, I was a yeah. child. So, you were a child actor, Flula? Yeah. I didn't know. What I, were you in when you were a child? I was a... a it's a DJ show. It's like, play that, play that one more time is what it was called in Oh, English. where, where oh, you yeah. were had to play songs twice? Yeah, Spiel mir das nochmal is what it was called. And if you didn't play it twice, then you You're were... You're fired. Yeah. So I always wow. played it two times. They called me two-time Flula, <laughs> so... So you were pretty good on the show. I did. I hit repeat and we did it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was well, that an automated thing that you could just, like, say, repeat track? Well, I can say it now because the show is off the air. So, yes, I just <laughs> copy-paste twice and hit play once. Ah, yeah. smart, smart. Ah, Those yeah. other fools, they're sitting there after the song ends just going like, what do I do, what, what do, do I, I do? Yeah, meanwhile, so I'm urinating, yeah. yeah. Very <laughs> clever. Fula. Thank you, thank you. What if we rebooted this? We could do it. It was a very local third channel in Germany as a Bayern fan So the rights. Oh, they are open. And what have you put on this ninja costume? <laughs> wait, wait! You have a ninja costume with yes, you? Yes, of course. Put on this ninja costume. This is this, this is, is uh, any size. Just yes, it's any size. You pull the thing. There you go. It's fluorescent yellow. Yes. I like this. Yes. This is perfect for a rave ninja. fight. Yes, of course. We will reboot this show as a ninja show. Okay. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> laughing maniacally? <laughs> what, wait, what? You're laughing maniacally. He hasn't agreed to it. He hasn't even put on the costume. Wait, oh, wait. You just put on the I costume. Just, yeah, I didn't. I just touched. It's like venom. I just touched it, and now I'm wearing it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what kind of costume is this? It's a magic costume. Magic. Yes, I got it from this costume shop. The magic with a Q at the. They're very. Oh, good. okay. <laughs> oh, magic. They're in stu yes, they're magic. in st Studio City. Okay, how do you spell that? A. M. Yes. Got it. A. Okay. A. G. Oh, it's a G. G. Yes, I. I. And okay. then the Q. Here's where the Q uh, comes in. The Q comes in. in at the end. Oh, so no U E. It's just, ma oh, just got it. Q. Okay. Magic. Oh. Magic. I okay. Like of this. course. Mm -hmm. Now, look, by the end of this show, I'm sure we'll be able to work something out. I'll sign the both of you. I'll package you and put you. May I'll get, maybe get you an, a universal writing deal. Oh. <gasps> With the studio universal or just like... With the, yes, with the or, studio. Or with the universe. 
<laughs> no, with with the studio. No, okay. No, I'm I not mean, magical. you know, get you get you in there, get you on the lot. You know. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, just, I like the lot. You know? One of those bungalows. Yeah, maybe a bungalow. <laughs> There's some mid season shows. Maybe pick you up on the one of those. You know? I don't. I, like I don't know that I want to do. You a, don't want to do this, Scott. Do, go. Do, you, you can be go staff consul- up on a <laughs> mid season show. <laughs> I have be, other stuff going. You could be a consulting producer, Scott. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, I know it's good money. Look at this on my. Look at this suit. Don't it's, you want one of these as well, Scott? Would we? Would I have to dress like a ninja when well, I do yeah. this? It's be part of the contract, Scott. <laughs> what does Universal want with me dressing like a ninja? We, they need one ninja writing team. <laughs> <laughs> we have, wait, we have to do it as a team? Yes. Oh, that's to, just a scam where they pay for two people. You've got to split the check. <laughs> but you'd, you'd only work three days a week, Scott. Oh. oh. So if we could get it down to two, yeah. would, and do we work the same days or? No, you can split whichever days, you know, if you have See, to work. See, this is how your... they do it. They get us in there for four Come days on, a week Scott, and pay us as one deal. writer. You know, and then you can work on your own pilot, you know, whatever. You know. <laughs> yeah, but it's then you never get your own thing going because you're too busy working on someone else's show. Right, we'll have a, let's set up a meeting with you, UTA fam. We'll have a I don't know. I'll bring my parents. It would be great. Yeah. Be great. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do they could co-manage you, the parents and? I think we can set something up, Scott. Where yeah. we co-manage. I whisper, they manage. Right, oh. and how much are you getting and I'm how much still, are they getting? I'm going to probably still take 10%. Oh, oh, no. Okay. So whatever they do, I, I don't care, but <laughs> we we have to settle up on my end. I'm suddenly very agreeable now that I'm wearing this suit. Oh, excellent. Just put on the excellent. suit. It's, I don't want to put on... You, you don't have another suit, do you? Do you oh, my oh, God. You have yeah, another you are, Scott, I don't want to put on the oh, suit. Is, oh, pink. Yes, I, Scott. Pink, yeah. Put I on the ninja suit, I Scott. I don't think I want... Oh, my God. God, I just touched it and now That's it's right. on me. That's right, Scott. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's right. It's skin tight. <laughs> oh, that is super tight. That is showing everything. That, uh, that's exactly what we need in the writer's room. <laughs> Wait. Well, hold on. In this climate, it's true, Scott. We can't do this kind of thing. But we need ninja representation in the writer's room, Scott. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. All right. I don't know. I guess we could do this, Flula. Let's do this. If we hug, we'll form some kind of sherbet. I can feel <laughs> All right. It. All right. Right, let's hug and then see what happens. Perfect. <laughs> oh my God! Now you're definitely splitting a check because <laughs> I think we're splitting organs too. Somehow our bodies have combined. I think we need to. Wait, create... is this how you get the miscellaneous clients? Yes, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, look. dirty, so dirty. We need to take a break. I, yes. I, uh, I need to I'm call... gonna try I... to get this ninja suit off. Me. Yes, w- I need to talk to my assistant. But yes, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, roll some calls while we're on break. Yes, I got some All right, today. look, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with uh, more Flula, more Sprague the Whisperer, and we'll have a girlfriend after this. That's very exciting. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> I think we can all agree the holidays are the busiest time of the year. Am I right? Am I? I mean, summer, eh, summers, summer can be lazy, but then sometimes you you get into these grooves where, but no, I mean, fall too, back to school, spring, I mean, spring, there's so many wedding, but no, the holidays, Yeah, I agree. Okay, the holidays are the busiest time of the year. And I'll tell you one place in the world that it's even busier than the rest of the world, and that is, of course, the post office. Now, I would never say anything negative about the post office. That's just not my style. That's not how I was raised. Uh, My mama and papa raised me to say nice things about the post office, so of course I always do. But I will say... I use Stamps.com to save time during the hectic holiday season because Stamps.com brings all of the services of the the wonderful, wonderful services of the U.S. Post Office, but it brings them right to your desktop. You don't have to go to that busy, busy post office. You can buy and print a a fish. You can buy fishes. You can buy... And print official U.S. postage for any letter, any package, any class of mail using your own computer and your own printer. And then the mail carrier, he picks it up. How incredible is that? He is forced to pick it up from you. Print postage any day, any time. Look, there's no time limit on this. If you log on to Stamps.com at 3 in the morning, you're not going to get a, hey, we're closed sign. No, any day, any time. They don't care. They, they're, uh, 
they c- could care, could not care less what time you buy stamps.com stamps from them. They do not care. Stamps.com not only saves you time, it saves you money. It helps you print the right amount of postage every single time, never overpay again. And with all the time and money you'll save, Stamps.com is the best gift that you can give yourself this holiday season. Uh, We use Stamps.com over here at Earwolf. Uh, We've used it for years. And right now, you you too can enjoy the Stamps.com service with a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus postage and a digital scale without long-term commitments. Go to Stamps.com, click on that microphone at the top of the homepage, type in Bang Bang, that is Stamps.com, enter Bang Bang. I'm not going to say anything about the post office. <laughs> Sleeping. We all have to do it 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours a day, 14 if you're lucky. A quality night's sleep helps you recover from distractions faster. It helps you prevent burnout. It helps you make better decisions, improve your memory, and overall just make fewer mistakes. It's not marketing. It's science. Science! She blinded me? To design a better mattress to give you a quality night's sleep, Lisa leveraged 30-plus years of experience and hundreds of hours of scientific testing to develop the perfect mattress for all body shapes and sleeping styles. Lisa's mission, get this, is to provide a better night's rest for everybody, for every body. They even put a space in between every and body because I think you're, they're talking about your actual physical form, your body. They want a better night's rest for every body. Through their 110 program, they donate one mattress for every 10 they sell. That's more than 31,000 mattresses and counting. It sounds like they got another 1,000 mattresses since the last time they, uh, they uh, uh, had me read this. Because I think it was 30,000 before. Thir- up to 31. Congrats, Lisa. It's working. I take a little bit of pride in that. Lisa strives to leave the world better than they found it. They found the world. They discovered the world. Incredible. But that doesn't stop with mattress donations. Together with the Arbor Day Foundation, Lisa plants one tree for every mattress that they sell. Look, I have a Lisa. Maybe you don't care about all that, about the planting the trees or the 31,000 mattresses, although that is an impressive number. Uh, But maybe you don't care. All you care about is sleeping on a comfortable mattress. And let me tell you, I do every single night. Yes, that's right. I do not switch mattresses every other day. I continually sleep on Elisa, and I love it. Give yourself the gift of a better night's rest this holiday. Get $160 off Elisa mattress at lisa.com slash bang bang and use promo code bang bang at checkout. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com slash bang bang promo code bang bang. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back. Uh, Flula is here with us. Uh, where, where can people uh, find? Uh, do you have a YouTube? Is that is that right? Uh, just a, a channel or something? You can just Google my name, like you have a flu in Los Angeles, F L U L A, and mm-hmm. things will appear. Instagram, the podcast. If you put a space in between it, will like flu shot uh, yes. opportunities that, come up yes. for you? Then health options are <laughs> great. Yeah, and yeah. you could also get in on those. Maybe I have know? tried reserving the domain name flu dot la. It is fifteen thousand dollars. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's nope. Tough. Yeah. Um, although uh, our other guest here could. Uh, uh, work out a deal uh-huh. for that, maybe. Sprague the way. Yes, set that up. Yes. 2.30. Oh, he's he's taken on, off the cloak, by the, the way. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's okay. just a guy. Okay. Yes. All right. He's just a guy in a suit. He's just yes. on the yeah. phone. Talk to their manager and then we'll have the meeting. Okay. Anyway, he's okay. rolling. Sorry. Calls. sorry. Sprague. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. We'll be back. Yes, we're yeah. rolling. Sorry. Hold on. Let me... <laughs> you don't have to put the cloak back on. <laughs> the cloak You're back all... on. No, it's not. I, mean, it's, I don't think it's having the intended sorry. effect. Sorry. I've us. got a lunch at 2.30. Okay. that's. We'll get you out by then. Don't worry. Uh, we need to get to our next guest. Uh, she is a girlfriend. I don't have any other information other than that, but uh, let's Perfect. try to divine some information from her. Please. Uh, please welcome to the show, Kayla Dickey. Hi. Hi, Kayla. Yeah, hi. Hello. Hi. My name's Kayla Dickey. Oh, yes, it is. Hi, this is Flula. Hello, hi. Kayla. This is Sprague. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's your last name, Sprague? The Whisper. No, what's your what's your last name from Florida? Oh, um... Jensen. Jensen. Ah, Sprague Jensen? Sprague Jensen. Okay. <laughs> yes, but people, you know, I suggest Sprague the Whisper. You do? Yes. It's okay. fine. Keep going. All right. 
<laughs> we can keep going? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Kayla, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Scott. Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, uh, I'm just here because um, my boyfriend, he just bought a big truck. Oh. Oh. Cool. Wow. That's great. So we're pretty pumped about the truck. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you're you're on the show in order to uh, talk about the truck, or yeah, talk we're, about we're your just, boyfriend. We're pretty pumped about the truck, and we're just letting everybody know about the truck. Oh, okay. What? Uh, uh, hmm. What? What, what kind of truck? Yeah. What, what color is it? What you want to know what your, color? Yeah. yeah let's yes. let's figure out make, model, and color. Um. Yeah. It's red, mm. and okay. it's um a Ford Rock Hard 250. Okay. Ford Rock Hard. Rock Hard 250. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. So it's it's really exciting. Um, and we've you know we got the whole neighborhood to come over and check out the truck, and oh. people are we're, we're getting a really great response because it's just so big. It's super. That's great. Big. Okay. It's a big truck. It's a, uh, a m- bigger than a normal truck. Yeah, it's one of the biggest trucks. <laughs> it's one of the biggest trucks on the market. Mm-hmm. Hands down, um, yeah. the biggest truck, and it's so big. And we, you know, we've been decorating it inside, so um, we've got a lot of his like flat brims, kind of all flat brims. Is that what you said? Yeah, what? his flat brim hats. Flat brim, flat brim hats. Yes. Yeah. So we've got his flat brims, kind of just like taped up and oh, like stapled up around like the around interior. like the interior of the. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then we've got a little shelf um, with all of his DVDs. So oh. like, he likes to display his DVDs. So this can can sounds you, huge. <laughs> can you play DVDs in this truck? Yeah, there's a couple. There's TVs a, a couple of TVs. It's in just it? okay. so big, you guys. It's I don't, it's so big, and um, yeah, that that sounds, sounds, it makes great. him feel so big. So yeah. it's it's exciting. That's, it's very him. exciting for you. So you're here to promote the the truck. The truck. Yeah. Well, yeah, and we're just we're pumped about it. We're pumped, pumped about, about the big it. truck. Where, where, Sprague has a question. Where is your boyfriend right now? My boyfriend's in the truck. He's waiting for me. He's got he's, the truck running outside. Is he parked uh, down? Oh, he's he's. Uh, it's uh, running. Downs- yeah, it's running. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. During the entirety of the show. Yeah. That's yeah. a. Uh, I, as far as I know, uh, these types of trucks are gas guzzlers. Yes. Yeah, we fill up multiple times a day. And, a day. Wow. Yeah, and it's just it for me. It's like it's such a big truck, and he's got such a small dick, and it's just like so. It's exciting. He, hold on, Sorry, what now? What did the second thing you said? The sec- yeah, the truck. out of the three um, things you said. It's just heaven, you guys. It's heaven. No, no, no. I think the other thing, I yeah. think maybe we're mixing up the order. The second thing you said, the. Uh, you said big uh, truck. You said it's a big then, truck, and then you said something, and then you said yeah. it's very exciting. Yeah, he, it's, he's got a big truck. Right. And small right. deck, and it's oh, just. Oh, that's so, the one, that's the uh, one right, that was tripping yeah, me up. Yeah, the, yes. the, Is that what it, yeah. You the, did say he has a small dick, yes. You know, I, for me, like, I'm already seeing this confidence level change, and he's just a new guy. It's just. It's That's a, amazing. Yeah, it's so okay. exciting. So you, uh, he has a uh, uh, smaller than average penis or? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a small dick. It's small. How, mm. how can, I mean, can we talk about how how small are we talking? I don't know. Yes, What's how, small how when small it comes to penises? Um, I don't know. Like a dice. Like so, a like dice. A, like, a, like a Monopoly die? Like for Yahtzee? <laughs> like two dice on top of each other? Just the one single just square? Just a single die, yeah. Because you said single dice. squares, that's, that's really <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it's just like a, like a dice. Like, um, wow. Like a, just a, a, like, uh, he's like rolling a, snake eyes? You guys or? Have, ever, have you ever played Balderdash? Yes, with the L- words. <laughs> not really, I'm not remembering remember Balderdash. What what, how do you play Balderdash? Oh, it's a wonderful game. Yeah. You, maybe you could tell us the rules. Oh, it's a, like you have a word. It's like flunkety door. And it, you must, everyone must say, what is the definition of flangety mm. Okay. And then yes. you invent it. You invent it. Okay, this sounds fun. Yeah, yeah so I don't think that they have dice with that game, but oh. It, oh. if they did, it would be the size of his dick. <laughs> oh, I got it. Got okay. it. So two two on top of each other, probably. Okay. Is that what we're no, talking no. about? Just, just the single just one. one dice. Just one cube. So we're just pumped about the truck. Yeah. And I just want to make sure um, you guys understand like just how big it is. And and yeah. kind of like when we were driving over, you know, a lot of people were honking and he was he was speeding, um, which makes me feel safe and taken care of. And um, okay, okay. So this mm. truck is almost uh, womb like in yeah. a way. And we were playing on the way over, we had um, Orange County, the movie playing. Oh, um, oh great. We got some out colds going. Uh, <laughs> how how much of out cold <laughs> did you get going? <laughs> Most of yeah, most, most of, of it. it. Most on the way over. You, do you guys live far away? Because you, you've mentioned two. You movies. live in Colorado. Colorado. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you took wow. the truck all the way out here. Yeah, we made the trip. And Great. Sorry, Just what, what is out cold? What is this? It's cold a out? really good movie about a ski town. Yeah, I believe um, Zach Galifianakis is in it in a hot tub film. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Ah, okay. It's really good. Um, and he's just got like Boondock Saints. 
<laughs> he's got uh, Boondock Saints in there as he's well. He's got yes. Boondock Saints. He's got. I was a consulting um, producer on Boondock. <laughs> you were. <laughs> Sprague yes. Jensen. That's true. <laughs> What's a very true. Check my IMDb. Uh, so it's in the shape of a cube. His dick. Yeah. Or it just is that length. <laughs> it's. It looks like. Is it a dice? That's what I said. It, it just like looks exactly like. It. Is it? Is it? Is it as uh, w- wide as it is tall? It's. I'm not here to talk about the dick. I'm oh, here you're to not. Talk about I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why but we're yeah, getting hung up on that. Well, let's talk about the truck. That was the right description, I guess. Right. right. Okay. okay. Let's talk about the truck. So, it's uh, any other features in the in the truck, or? Well, the wheels are so big. Like I come up to like half of a wheel. You come up to half. Yeah, you are, but you're a little uh, on the petite side. Uh, yeah, I'm mm, four foot. Mm. You're four foot. Yeah, I, was, I yeah. didn't want to say. So these are like eight foot wheels. So the Ooh. wheels are eight foot. So that's, that's, those are really big. <laughs> so then if you think this about. This is like a monster drive. This, yeah. Is this in competitions <laughs> or does no, this crush is, other cars? He's a baker. He works at um, Baked in Montrose. <laughs> baked in Montrose. Yeah, so he bakes um, just like different kinds of like stuff. And then. Does he have to do any kind of novelty cakes, any kind of sex cakes where he has like no, this is penises just, on, on it or. Why are you guys so obsessed with dicks? Like we're I, here just, to talk about, I'm here to talk about the truck. I'm just, if he's surrounded by giant penises at work, that would also oh. tend to yes. lend. No, him. he's got his boys there and there's definitely like, you know, like that chef culture. You know that. Sure. I've heard about Matari, uh, Mar- Mario, Bata- I was going to say Matario, but uh, Mario Bali. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, people like this. B- Bitali. Yeah. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> what did you just say, Sprig? <laughs> Bitali. <laughs> Bitali. Yes. yes. So the chef culture is uh, it's, it uh, it's very masculine. Pretty, yeah. And, yeah. Um, for him, it was kind of emasculating because he, he had a big truck before. He did. But it was What truck was this that he had before? He had a Ford. Um, Rock hard 150? 150. Uh, okay. And now he has the 250. 250. So before everyone was kind of giving him a hard time about it and. Um, mm, wasn't big enough. Yeah. And a lot of the girls at where I work were like, what's the deal with you guys? Um, and I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how long this is going to last. Oh. And then he got the big truck and we were like, okay. Like he got the big truck and I'm like, well, now I know it's going to last. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So since it is shaped like a cube, are the dimples on the, like a dice? Like are the numbers, yeah. like is there well, two two dots on like one I, I guess there would be the, the tip of it would have the one dot yeah. probably. Yeah. And then is there five and six and I guess, well, the six would be on the opposite I end. Mean, so we would never see smooth. that. It's not smooth if that's what the question is. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. Some skin condition. Yeah, and it's okay. got pock it, marks. I mean, it, I want to say it does a job, but... What, which job does it do? It does the job. Which job is you, this? You want to say it, but it doesn't. Yeah, it's, you know, you know, like for our relationship, it does a job. And that's, I guess, what's right. important right now. But the, mm. the more important thing is the truck. Right, um, yes. You've had, you've had uh, uh, relationship problems until now. Yeah. What were the primary problems within your relationship? So he's just always at the bakery or mm. in, the, in, in the truck. And um, for me, it's like, where is this going? Because I, you know, I work. I work at the bridal shop. Yeah, where shop. do you work? You mm-hmm. work at the bridal shop, you I say? work at oh. David's Bridal, the one on, um, by the Big Lots, not the one on I, Main I'm, Street. We're not from Colorado. We don't really no. know. These are specific references that we don't I've know. Been well, there. the one on. <laughs> you have multiple course. times. Of course. So then you know, the one on the Main Street The one by is, the Big the, yes, the by the Big Lots, yes, of course. <laughs> No. Okay, thanks, Frank. <laughs> that's cool. All right, that well, that's, know. yeah, that's it's really just, lucky oh, for wow. you. I wanted to chime in. <laughs> yeah. So you know that one's the bad one. Yes, of course. So you I work at the bad the, one. And, oh, you work uh, at the bad one. Yeah. What, what constitutes the bad one? It's a bad part of town or the uh, no, not as good as the other one? It's not as good. We can't find, we don't find anyone to dress. Oh, really? Yeah. You're unsuccessful. Yes. At, yeah. Yeah, but the girls there, I love the girls. Um, the, the, your coworkers yeah, or the, the customers? the girls. The, the coworkers, my girls. Mm. Mm. So my girls are always talking about, you know, when are you guys going to get married, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. How long have you been dating? What's this gentleman's name, by the yeah. way? Cart. Car- 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 How do you spell that? I'm asking Car- Sprague. Yeah. C. <laughs> yes. A. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing R. <laughs> and then T. <laughs> Yeah, is that is that uh, that's correct, yeah. right on the money? Oh, right. Right. Congratulations, like Frank. the shopping cart. Oh, nice, good key, yeah. keyword. So, cart is this gentleman's name, and how long have you been uh, together? Seven and a half years. Seven wow. and a half. Oh. So, wow. really, I mean, if if you add up all of your sexual experiences, that's like you know having sex with one you know big dicked guy. 
That's true. Yeah, eventually, yeah. Wow. <laughs> eventually, you That's got there. That's small. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can I can I ask? Is there a three fifty? Oh, for. Okay. Yeah, well, I think there's the, there's the 150. There's the 150, there's the 250. Then and then the 250. does it go to the 350? It's because you asked where is this going, and I thought it's probably going to the 350. Yeah. So, yeah, that it's rumored that that's going to come out in the spring, but wow. we haven't heard. That's, uh, that's <laughs> off schedule for cars as well. <laughs> also, it's rumored on the message boards, probably. <laughs> so it's rumored, just wow. like on Facebook and stuff. Okay, do you think he's going to... Pop the question? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, sure, uh, sure. <laughs> I did want to know. Yes. I, you know, for me, like everywhere that we go with the big truck, I'm, I'm like, this could be it. This could be it. Because he'll park the truck, and we'll just kind of set up shop. So we'll drive up. Um, you guys know, like the Jed Weeby Trail. Yeah, I, uh, maybe been, Sprague does. I, I've, I've heard of it, but I've never been there. So, <laughs> Jeb Weeby. Okay, yeah. Well, Jeb. Jeb, well, Jeb, Jed Weeby. Oh. Jed Weeby. Jed Who's Weeby, Jed Weeby? Yes, of course. Jed Weeby is, he was the mayor of Montrose um, before the big fire. Oh, and then uh, what happened? The big fire happened and they uh, <laughs> tossed him out <laughs> and made a trail? Well, he started or, the fire. Or, he started the fire. Oh, I didn't know. Oh. Oh, so the opposite of Billy Joel. He left a curling iron on <laughs> and he started the fire. So. He left a curl. What was he curling? His hairs. Oh. <laughs> the, ones, the ones on top? And below. Oh, and below, that. all of it. He was just curling. His leg hair and stuff. Anything goes with him. So he started the fire, and then they were like, you've got to get out of town. And he's like, I'm not leaving. Okay. And then, <laughs> so then he, I'm trying to get to the trail. Yeah, me was, too. How did he name a trail? So he ran up the trail. Uh, and everyone yes. couldn't find, they, everyone was like, he's rumored to be up there. Oh. And <laughs> <laughs> Where did they rumor this? On the message boards as yes. well? On Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, he's up there. And so every time we go up, we're like, where is he? Where is he? And <laughs> We still haven't. Okay, no one's ever found this guy. <laughs> so we <laughs> so go up. Some, some sort of a hermit uh, who may be living in a cave on this in this trail somewhere, curling his hairs. <clears throat> He's just, he never came back. He know? never he came back. He went up there and no one's ever heard a sound or a mm. peep. When mm. was this? Um, seven and a half years ago. Seven and a half. So that was right when me and Cart got together. Hold on, can I ask so you a question? Yeah. Is this gentleman that you're talking about, did you have any sort of relationship with him? Jed uh, Weeby? With Jed Weeby? Jed Weeby. Okay, so I was Jed Weeby's, like, assistant um, at mm, the David's courthouse. Uh, oh, got it. At the he, courthouse. he's the mayor. He was the mayor. He was the mayor, right. And you were his assistant just at the courthouse? Just at the courthouse. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so he had different assistants for different locations. <laughs> Yeah, so... <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. It does. <laughs> you could use one of that. I could use an assistant right now. <laughs> so some of my other girls... You're eyeing your phone right now. I've, like it's, yes. I've got emails. <laughs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> All right, Sprague. So hold on, hold so on. So some of my other girls were some of his other assistants. So my girl, um, Cassie, my girl... Megan, my girl, Tosh. Sure. Well, well, the court stipulates that there were plenty of girls with different names. So my girls that all work at David's Bridal now, uh, my girls and I were all different assistants for Judd Weeby. What an amazing coincidence. Wow. So anyway, Judd flees the scene and I'm like, fuck. Okay. Were, uh, were you there at his his uh, abode while he was curling or where was he curling these? I, I don't the know hairs? the situation. Yeah, the hairs. Yes. He was... Well, he was at home. He was at home. He so burned down his home. That's Tosh's territory. So that this is not on You're me. You're not allowed there. It's on Tosh. Yeah. Uh. But apparently, um, he also left a curling iron on at the courthouse. Oh, no. So I didn't even know this. You, oh, we had multiple curling irons going at the same time. So I didn't know that. And I was at work. And all of a sudden, there's a fire. Like, not only at So the this courthouse. is a multiple fire situation that he started. Yeah. Oh, no. So he ran up the trail. And so me and Cart nowadays, you just kind of drive up there and we're like, Judd, Judd. So how then did you go from Jed Weebie? Is that? <laughs> we Weebles? We Jed Weebie. Weeby. Jed Weebie. How did you go from working for Jed Weebie to suddenly dating Cart? So I obviously was like a mess. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Obvi obvi and yeah. I was kind of just like out on the street. You're out of a job at this point. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a home and stuff, but I was walking the street and. Okay. Why? <laughs> what? Sometimes you just have to walk on the street. I mean, street, I guess I've walked. So. Do you mean you were like doing errands? Yeah. That's a strange way to describe <laughs> this. <laughs> Take, yeah. Okay. I was just, I needed some time, you know, to process the fires. Okay. 
Mm. So yeah, you were taking a walk. So I was walking the street. <laughs> okay. I was walking the street. Got it, got and it. then he pulls up and I hear this like vroom, vroom. And I turn. This is Cart, not, this is not Cart. Jed Weebee. No, Jed Weebee had fled. Right. He had right. fled at this situation. You do, was this by foot or did he have a truck as well? Um, he has a big truck, yeah. He uh, has a big uh, truck. Well, it's not as big as um, Cart's. Well, the 250 the hadn't come out yet. Yeah, so he had just the 50 because this was a few years ago. Okay. Uh, so anyway, um, I hear vroom, vroom, and he turn. And it's cart. And he's Was like, that the car noise or was that him saying? He, saying? Vroom, vroom, he was yeah. saying vroom, vroom. He was. And uh, I said, I turn and he's like, hey, do you want to watch The Big Lebowski? Oh. And, and I, you you thought he was asking you out to a movie theater perhaps? and um, Yeah. Well, I would have thought that, but it was already starting like on the big screen. Oh, it was. How much seat. had you missed? A good chunk of it, like three-fourths. Right. Well, were you able to kind of figure it out? Or? Yeah, I got in at the part where um, I mean, the dude bowling. is pretty, I mean, it's like a character study, so it's not really about the plot. You'll get yeah. it pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Great character, of course. <laughs> Sprague, did you have anything to do with that film? <laughs> no. I really wish I did. Oh. You know, at the time, I was trying to work on Steve Buscemi, but he ended up going <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> But he had no need for ninja-based yes. career. He didn't want to do any more ninja stuff. <laughs> so there's Cart. You're in. You're distraught. You're a mess. He asks you to watch the Big Lebowski in his truck, a fifty at the time. No, he had a one hundred. He had a one hundred. Oh. Oh. had a fifty. I guess these are going up and they go up in. 50s. They go up in fifties. So, so they're going to the three fifty. They're skipping the three hundred. Rumored. <laughs> so this one came out in June of. This is seven years ago, seven so years. 2011. Okay. So they took a big, took long a big break, break in between the 150 and the 250. <laughs> and this yes, is and now he issues. just got the 250, and now they're already up to the 350 in the well, spring? Yeah, so they moved the... <laughs> Production issues much like Tesla, or...? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm. So it was rumored that... Mm. There was issues just kind of like with the CEO. Okay, got it. So you think Cart's going to propose to you all the time? I think that's where we, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's where we are. <laughs> well, yeah, we yeah are. okay. So cut to now seven and a half years later. So we, anyway, you, you got into his truck and into his dreams. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, seven and a and half years. his dice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How long did it take for that to happen? To sleep with him? Yes. Yeah. Uh, pretty quick. Uh, I'm, I don't really take that stuff very seriously. Mm, okay. You're free with your body? Yeah, I'm free in anything that gets me in a big truck I'm all about. So okay, yeah. um, we had, yeah, we, we, this been, was the biggest truck they had in, on the market at the time. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So we, we've, every time we drive up um, the Jed Weeby trail and we yell for Judd, I'm like, this could be it. This could be it. <laughs> You've been doing this for seven and a half years <laughs> at this point. So that's what sort of we do during our lunch breaks and stuff like that. So I'll get off from um, David's bridal. He'll get off from baked in Montrose. You have the same uh, lunch break? Um, Same hours? Yeah, around that time. Okay. So a well, little overlapping? A little overlapping. Like a half hour overlapping, maybe? It's like a, a two-hour gap. <laughs> you guys oh. have a two-hour lunch break? Where you scream for Judd Weeby? Yeah. Well, so Judd, one time we did hear Judd, though, I'm pretty sure. Really? We heard kind of like, hey, I'm over here. And I <gasps> I look and- Was it Sprague? I couldn't. Okay, it's, it's a whisper. It's a whisper, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, yeah, only ever heard, I've only ever okay. heard of it, so. Yeah, Got you've it. never been on it. Never been on it. Okay. So what did, okay. what did you do, though? This is incredible. So I, I turn, and and I look, and I just see I just see trees, I see, and then I see a bear. You saw a bear? Yeah. So the bear whispered. Well, we don't know. Oh. Or it could have been, I guess, Jed Weeby. In a bear costume? Oh. Or so that's what I think. I or think he's bears, living as a bear. Maybe bears have developed the power of speech. I have a much more logical explanation. <laughs> okay, so. Sprague. I believe Jeb Weeby to be a ninja scout. <laughs> no, he's not a ninja. He whispered, and then you turned, and he flipped out of the way. No, I don't think so. He I is... He, this is a great story. I'd like to buy the rights. So this is sort of like it a is. combination of like uh, The Edge yes. meets Beverly Hills Ninja. Beverly Hills Ninja, but just not funny, you know, mostly yeah. dramatic. Right. And he comes back to get his assistant from this guy caught with a bigger truck. Can, yeah. Can I ask, what, to what end are you doing this? Why are you still trying to find Je uh, Jeb? Judd. <laughs> Jed. Jed. Jed Weeby? Judd. 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 Is it J-U? How do you spell it? Sprague. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. I believe it's J. Yes. J. U. U. D. D. Okay, I think that's Jod. it. That's it? Jod. So just, just one D. 
Judd. It's Judd. like it's like Chud, but Judd. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a great. Now, are you interested in the Chud films? <laughs> oh yes, very much so. <laughs> Kayla, I have a deep question. Yeah. What is the connection between Cart and Jed? Yeah, yeah why does Jed? Cart want to find, find Judd? Yeah. And why are you still trying to find Judd? That's sort of why, to what end? What are you guys doing this? Judd was a mentor. Judd was a leader. Judd was. Okay. Um, to whom? To you? To Cart? Yeah, to both of us. And we also both fucked Judd, so. Oh. Wait, your oh. Cart had sex with Judd. Yeah. That's okay, so he's okay. he's uh, 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 pansexual. Judd will do anything for a guy with a big truck, and that's same with me. So Ooh. it's these. Okay. Just, once you Did see, you say the Judd had a big truck too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, so it's what so he. Yeah. It's Have what you guys he, ever seen a guy in a big truck? Is there anything? <sighs> Hotter than a guy in a big truck. I'll be honest. The way you've described Cart, he sounds kind of like a fucking jag off. <laughs> hey, Spray! No, I'm, Spray! I'm not gonna lie. I think I the agree truck with and the friggin' hat thing, and his name's Cart. I, I just, <laughs> he sounds fine, but I don't yeah, know. I mean, this maybe tiny it's good. Spray, thing. maybe it's good for Colorado. Maybe. You know, it's not like LA where all the, all the good looking people with big dicks move it's out here. true. I think you can do better, though. I just think, you know, to me, like, if he's going to wants to just drive around in the big truck and, like, um, show it off for the town and kind of, like, freak people out on the roads by going really quickly, like, I'm all about that and I'm on board for that. And if play, that's what our future is, like. How loud does he play music in movies from the car? Super loud, yes. Yeah. I, I knew it would be that. Maybe, you know, I'll tell you what, we need to take a break. But Please. Sprague, maybe you could whisper some advice yes, for a new God. man. Some for, advice is For coming. Kayla here, yes. Yes. All right, so we're going to take a break. I know you also have to catch up on emails. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be right back with more Flula, more Sprague the Whisperer, more Kayla Dickey. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Of course, with Squarespace. Who else would be out there turning dreams into reality? Um, Squarespace, look, say you have a passion project, all right? You've been working on something for a long time. You want people to see it. Where are people these days? Of course, the WWW. I'm talking about the World Wide Web, baby. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Maybe you're looking to start a new business. That's cool. That's very legal. Very cool. <laughs> Maybe you want to showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more. Squarespace is the tool for you. They have beautiful templates. And I'm not a, look, I'm not a guy who's like, God, look at that beautiful template. But Usually, normally, you know, like I'll be clicking through websites. I'll just be flipping through. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, this one's okay. Let me read it for a second. All right, I'm done. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, here's another one. And I'm not usually a guy who's like, damn, look at that template. But I tell you, when I got on Squarespace, I, my eyes, it was like a treasure hunt for my eyes with these templates. Created by world-class designers, these things are gorge. Plus, they have the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks. You can easily make a beautiful website yourself. You don't have to hire a team of 50 people to, to make your own website. You can do it on your own with Squarespace. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online. And they have analytics that help you grow your site in real time. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box, nothing to patch, upgrade ever. Buy domains, it's simple. You will get all the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms, if you can believe that. I, mean, I couldn't believe it when I, when Squarespace first started talking to me about working together on these ads, I was like, you don't, you don't empower restaurants and gyms, do you? And they were like, you know, we thought about it. We were like, uh, I don't know. Normally, websites don't really cover the, the arena of restaurants and gyms. But we thought, you know, some people have restaurants. Some people have gyms out there and they need websites. So we were just like, yeah, okay, we will. You know, we're not going to like it, but we will. And let me tell you, it's paid off. 
in uh, great dividends for Squarespace because restaurants and gyms a plenty abound on Squarespace. They help all of these businesses turn great ideas into something real. Head over to squarespace.com slash bang bang for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use that offer code bang bang. You will save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That is squarespace.com slash bang bang offer code bang bang. <laughs> Comedy bang bang. We're back here. Uh, we have Flula here. Who's right, um, I've got to go. I've got to go. Sprague. Do you Sorry. mean you have to go from here? No, or? no. It was a phone call. Oh, okay. Sprague, Sprague the whisper. Uh, Spielberg's assistant. It's oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, he's with his assistant at Mosaic right yes, now. Yes. Uh, we also have Kayla Dickey, uh, who's a girlfriend. So, uh, I wish you wouldn't identify yourself uh, as just girlfriend. I mean, you have so much going on. You work at a bridal, uh, uh, not a good one, but me and my girls, we just. We're all about like supporting our big guys out there. Yeah, and big, big, big guys. <sighs> they all, they all have. And how? Why did you all work at the same? <laughs> come over and work at the same so place. You traveled in. Pack. So Judd's wife. Yeah. Merg. Sorry, J- Merg J- Merg Weeby. <laughs> Merg Weeby. Okay. Merg Weeby owns. <laughs> She, she owns, owns the bridal David shop. Right. She what? owns David Bridal. Okay, so why uh, Judd and Merg? They. They have two. He's the mayor. She owns this bridal shop. He hires how many? Is, how many of your girls are there? There's five, six. There's th- ten girls. Ten, ten girls. He hires ten assistants. He's fu- has he fucked all of them? <laughs> because he fucked you at God. That's that's already. Yeah. So me and my girls, we just kind of keep that stuff to ourselves. We don't need to know. There's no competition. No it's com- not about yeah. It's competing it's, for it's a man. about supporting your girls. So yeah. But yes. I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so Judd is running some sort wow. of mayoral sex cult. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and he burns, he, he has multiple curling irons going in multiple locations, burns down half the town. Yeah. It was uh, so tragic. And so sad. And flees the scene mm-hmm. and puts on a bear costume and so is Merg, hiding out in the caves. Maybe right. a ninja costume. We Merg don't is know. pissed, by the way. Merg is so pissed because he left her with like all this anger from the towns. Yeah, she, she's taking it on, I would imagine. So does anyone go to her two bridal shops? No, so that's why ours is kind of failing and everyone's going to the one on Main Street. Oh, wait, but uh, she owns the, uh, so is it a franchise? She owns yeah, the- Yeah, David's Bridal. I see. Okay, so she owns That's the a yeah. freaking huge company. So she only owns much. one of them, though. Oh, it's, it seems, yeah, yeah, the bad one. Yeah. Bad one. Okay, so uh, and uh, d- is she out there looking for Judd? No, so she doesn't want to find him. Right. And so we're like the girls and I. We have to like keep to ourselves that we're out there. So all but, ten of you are out there trying to find. So, yeah, that's why we go in shifts. Like we go, you know, I take my two-hour lunch break and we go up. We each of us take the Judd Weeby trail, and like I'll come back and I'll be like. We still didn't find him. Like, I called. Wait, mm-hmm. I thought I heard his name. What happens when, if you guys find Jet Weeby, what happens? What is the next step? <clears throat> so, I don't really know, but I think that, I think that Jed would want us all to pile into his big truck and just go. He's, you think he still has his big truck? His 50? Where is the yeah, truck? Yeah, I mean, I think at this point, like, I don't know if he's bought a new one. I don't know. Because he was, like... Very like he's one of the people that I got most of the rumors about the trucks from. So okay, here's I, your pipeline for these rumors. Yeah. So I okay. think that he probably has the 350 like we were talking about earlier. Yes. I think he probably has the 350 already. He may already have that. OK, maybe you should start instead of searching the trail. You should start just staking out the Ford dealership. This seems smart. Kayla, mm-hmm. I, I want to give you some advice. Oh, here we go, Sprague. Because Sprague just, the Whisperer has got some patented right advice. Now, Kayla, this sounds like a dead end to me here's what you should do move to los angeles where all the big dick people move scott said earlier (laughs) and don't say that i said it if you're gonna say it you can co-sign it i definitely (laughs) co-sign okay but i want you to move to la and i've got this guy you can get some headshots (laughs) you have a you have a photographer you work with yes he's great i got a headshot guy and then maybe you know you come in we talk pitches you maybe work on a web series Mm -hmm. oh cool i mean you're you're like a podcast or something you're a little petite for an actress you're four feet tall actors are small that's actors true. are small. It's I mean, you true. could actors you could probably be in a Tom Cruise movie, and and it would look tower like- over him. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, trust me. Listen, is your photographer is is your photographer able to adjust it's for great height with perspective? 
he puts a little coin down. Just a little nickel next little to your nickel. toes? Very smart. Yes. And then that way you look huge. Okay. And this is my, of course, get headshots. And then, of course, I want you to start, you know, I have some acting class, you know, go to UCB maybe, Mm -hmm. take some classes there. Martial arts, perhaps. Sure. Wow. We could maybe do some CrossFit martial arts training. Mm. Yes. I've only done um, a few photos. Um, Me and the girls did a calendar for David's bridal Uh, with just posing with a bunch of big trucks. uh, Oh, okay. (laughs) Were you in bridal dresses or? No, we were naked. Sorry. You're naked. Sorry, what? You're naked. Renika. Next to big trucks. This is for David's bridal? <laughs> is this approved by Whether, the corporation? Wedding yeah, dresses in the together. background or something? <laughs> just hanging from the trucks? Yeah, Merg put it together. So actually all the ground is covered in the wedding dress. <laughs> wedding dress. How would you okay. feel buying your own big truck? Why be reliant Why on be carts on, here? On a man. You well, don't I just, need no I walk man. The, I walk the streets and that. <laughs> Sorry. That's You're still me. walking the streets? You go for walks, what, right? Yeah. What do you mean when you say this? Yeah, just to be clear, like, like shopping, like daily, or I just walk. <laughs> okay. There's no point in having. Look, if you're gonna be with a man, he needs to have a big truck. Okay, so if I'm gonna walk, <laughs> if I'm gonna walk the streets, it's because I'm hoping that I'm gonna see that that big. You're hoping man. someone with room room will roll have up. Have you next ever to been you. single? Um, yeah, I was single um, in that time when Judd fled. And How long was that, by the way? <laughs> it was like three or four hours. Three or four hours you yeah, were single. That feels right. Out there walking the streets looking for a man. Suddenly, vroom, vroom. And yeah. before that, not one second <laughs> you've been single. Right. You've jumped from truck to truck. Well, all my friends, like all my girls, we've all met our significant others by them yelling at us on the street. Okay. So if... Well- while you're walking the street? Yeah, while we're walking. Uh, what okay. usually works What uh, if, if for the our, our uh, uh, listeners out there who yes. are hoping to pick up women on the street by yelling at them from a big truck, what what type of conversation usually works? Like, damn girl, you look so sexy, you're asking for it. <sighs> mm. look you're how, asking for asking it already. For it. I yeah. don't even, <laughs> look how, what is he referring to? That sounds highly inappropriate. Look <laughs> how big I am, look how big and hard I am in my big truck. Okay, yeah. And then, <laughs> damn... Uh oh, I'm coming for you. Uh oh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> this, this sounds insane. <laughs> Yo, Colorado is a different place, though. Colorado it's not sounds, like LA. I'm from freaking Tampa. That sounds crazy. <laughs> now, I must say, your boyfriend and all the people you've talked about, they sound freaking insane. <laughs> I want to help you, girl. You said you've been to Montrose. It's. it's I know. I was there for like a tiny film you're festival. You're wearing a cloak. <laughs> it's fine. And you're speaking that's, in a fake British fine. accent. Just, you sound insane. I got this cloak at Uniqlo. It's it's chill. Wait, you went to Uniqlo and Magic? Yes, so Uniqlo and Magic. Yes, of course, they're great. Now, of course, no, I, I can't believe I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm gonna sign you. <gasps> Whoa! I just have to get you out of Colorado. It's it's killing you. I just I don't I don't know where I would go. <sighs> well, you, come to LA. Wait a minute, Scott. I know what to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey there, girl. Look at how hot you are. Look at how big. Look at, look at, vroom, 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 vroom. Look, I have a truck. It's downstairs. He's coming for you. Yes, He's coming I'm for coming you. I'm coming for you. It's a 450 downstairs. I need to see the truck. Okay, okay. It's a, I don't know. Call your assistant. Get okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Lloyd! <laughs> Lloyd, wait, is this Lloyd from Entourage? <laughs> no, that, that was That's a joke what... based on me, but hold on. <laughs> Lloyd! Oh, so that was based on you, just like Ari was based on Ari Emanuel? Yes, of course, of course. Yes, okay. Lloyd, yes, go down to the Ford dealership. Yes, Lloyd. Yes, talk to, oh, okay. What time's the lunch? <laughs> okay, what was that? okay. Somebody's Siri went off there. <laughs> Someone's Siri. <laughs> okay. Blue, oh. is that your Siri? No, it's not. My mind's only in German. Hold on. I think yes. How weird. Okay. Okay. Three thirty. All right. All right. Bye. What was I? What was I doing? You were getting a four fifty <laughs> truck. I forgot. I have a. I have a meeting with. Okay. So, Vin, you, so Vin this Vin is not Diesel. happening. I have a me- meeting with Vin Diesel later. Uh, you can get a four fifty. I will absolutely move out here. The. 350 is what's rumored to come out soon. So if you've got a 450. Okay. Yeah. That's- I'm worried, though, that, uh, you know, you're just going to jump from man to man, whomever has the biggest truck, until, sure. you know, I mean, uh, like what, uh, right now, the, this truck, uh, the, the 250 has eight foot tall wheels. They're twice as big as you. I mean, you know, what? Uh, suddenly. I have these- to get somebody to just kind of um, 
Much like the doves. Up, yeah. yeah, the the throwing the doves out or the, uh, what, what was the other analogy you used? Uh, oh, uh, some, it was something with massaging the sparrows. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone has to push me up like that. Yeah. The cart won't do it? Oh, no, cart can't lift. He, he really again. He's, he's, he just, he's got this, a slip. What, what he's kind got, of puny motherfucker is this? This guy sucks balls. <laughs> he's got multiple slipped discs because he played oh. a lot of um, football growing up. Mm. Jesus, How, he played a lot. How many games? He played um, Madden, like four hundred games a year. Four hundred yeah, a year. That's All right. Madden. That's ma- those are yeah. Madden. Oh, games. Okay. those are Madden stats. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, look, uh, oh, we're, we're coming. I to- hope you have a vibrator at the very least. <laughs> look, this is not a question we like to ask on this show, but do you have a vibrator? I have a track, and I like to sit on the on the. Um- you just sit on the hood. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Friend, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, look, you're no help. You're going I, I out there meeting whisper. with Vin Diesel. I yeah, tried you tried to whisper, but I've got a meeting with Vin Diesel. They're doing a Disney <laughs> right. XD show. Well, we, you know, we're just about uh, wrapping up here to get you. Out in time for that meeting, Thank so uh, God. There, there's really only one thing left to do on the show, and that is a little something called plugs. Wow, a little something called plugs. Plugging, plugging, plugs, plugs. You only like me for my plugs. Okay, that was For My Plugs by Sad Fillmore. That was like a SoundCloud rapper. That was very long, this it was plug song. A little too long. How would you have done it? Uh, just plugs. Here we go. Boom. Boom time. Yeah, That's exactly. Great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, then at least keep our plugs to a minimum. What are we plugging here? Flula, what do you got? Uh, my, my podcast, Boom Time, and subscribe it and love it and hug me digitally if you like. That's right. And if uh, people see you on the street, and I hope they do. Yeah, offer me some cashews. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. And Sprig uh, the Whisperer, what do you of have? Of course. I'm, I'm, well, uh, three ninjas all grown up. That's in pre pro. Six ninjas. Six ninjas. That's in pre pro right now. Six ninjas, three on the way, maybe. That's, oh, I like, like that. Maybe that's oh. the end. Scott, of, you're already involved. I'll suddenly, all signed. of the, the, the children of the three ninjas, their girlfriends all come back from the doctor. Oh, and now they're we're like, talking. Full of house type <laughs> of situation. This is freaking good, Scott. This is why I'm here to whisper. And of course, you know, I was a consulting producer on the television show Wrecked on TBS. <laughs> You were? Yes, I was. Oh. I went out to Fiji, shot. It was real fun. Zach Kreger, Brian Sacker, a great <laughs> cast. Uh, When's this out? Oh, well, it's already out. Seasons one through three on the TBS app. That's, of course, a very easily accessed app on your <laughs> Apple TV. Okay. Any commercials you have to sit through if you're watching it on the yeah, app? A couple or? commercials, maybe a CNN pre-roll or something. <laughs> okay. and oh, okay. They advertise like Cuomo tonight a lot. Okay, well. <laughs> so you're watching your own show. Oh, lot, yeah. It sounds you're like. going to watch two. The programming they're doing very well Scott. all right very good and uh kayla dickey by the way your last name is dickey yeah. isn't it ironic that's the one thing that you don't have a lot of <laughs> that's good scott wow <laughs> that was harsh I, d- I don't mean to be harsh i just like you that, talked about i yeah are you upset fine. Or? no i'm fine you're fine with it yeah that's good that's nice that's nice yeah oh. you, uh, have, have you ever considered, by the way, like, instead of a guy who owns a big truck, just a guy who possesses a big dick and oh, who has, like, yeah. a midsize car? For me, it's all about that big truck oh, and okay. just seeing right. him in his big truck. She's okay. gone, all right. Scott. Yeah, she's, she's, she's lost. She's, she's lost to us. She's lost. <laughs> Let her go. Just, I tried, you know. <laughs> sure. Anything to plug, Kayla? Um, Just, like... Big truck, small mm-hmm. dicks, and um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait, if there was a guy who had a big dick and a big truck, would yeah. that be okay? There's got to be one. I just, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. <laughs> there probably has n- never been a guy with a big dick That's who's bought true. a big truck. Yeah. 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 So I guess just roll that dice. Um, <laughs> yep. And follow me. Follow me. Follow, follow just, you down the street <laughs> while you're doing taking yeah, these walks. <laughs> just shout stuff at you. I, yeah, I have follow to me on the street. 
Okay, great. Thank uh, you. I want to plug the Comedy Bang Bang TV show. The uh, you know if you're in the U.S., uh, the, the, all the episodes are out on Netflix. If you're uh, anywhere else, I believe they were all taken down. So sorry about that. Uh, I also want to plug the uh, PCAST Blast coming to L.A. Uh, this Saturday. That is exciting. It's Comedy Bang Bang with uh, myself, uh, Lauren Lapkus, Paul F. Tompkins, a lot of other special guests. We have the Andy Daly po- uh, Pilot Podcast Project, and he's doing something really interesting with it. Uh, we also have uh, Doughboy. Yes, the Doughboy. Yes, you're a big fan over there. Yes. Uh, we also have Throwing Shade, uh, Teacher's Lounge, and uh, Off Book. Off I Book, believe. of course, the improvised musical. Yes. So come see that at the theater at the Ace Hotel this Saturday, December 15th. Uh, all right, let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa, what a bag. It's time to open it. It's time. So, so close to that being uh, gone. Um, who, who owns the rights to that song, Scott? <laughs> I think the three ninjas may. Ooh. It may be a package deal There's there. something good about closing up a black. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah, okay. The Guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Flula, always yes. great to see you. Uh, just a quick follow-up question. Yes, H- please. How many people have committed suicide after hearing that song? <laughs> that was just good. Plenty of people have committed suicide during this show. In fact, yeah. uh, we had uh, uh, several people jump out a window uh, uh, ah. uh, about f- uh, uh, four hundred. Hundred episodes back, yes, got it. Um, but uh, none this year, I believe. Uh, Sprague the Whisperer, good yes. luck to you. I don't think I'm going to sign, but Flula I th- was telling me during the break that he's very interested. Okay, so. yeah. Can I'll, I keep yeah. this suit? Uh, of course. Then count me in. <laughs> <laughs> and Kayla, look, I would say good luck, but uh, you're going to live a you're miserable much, life. Yeah, yeah who you're, knows? you're fucked. Not, but who are we to judge? If you're happy, I just ask that you pray for Dead Weeby and um, yeah, get yourself a. Uh, uh, what if Chuck. someone were to find Jed Weeby? Would he be reinstalled as mayor and would you go back there or what, no, what is like, your hope? I think, like I said, he will have a big truck. We will all pile in and we will just head on out. <laughs> just this, all you see is like the end of a movie. That Life's not like that where like credits, credits roll and running. everyone's just, just fine. What's going to happen is you're going to drive off in the truck. You're going to go for a while. He's going to pull over to a gas station. And you're yes. be like, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's yes. just crazy. Honestly, with Jed at the wheel, I I don't even care. I don't. <laughs> what is the, the magnetism of this Judd Weeby guy with his mayoral sex cult? <laughs> got to meet this guy. <laughs> this guy, I don't know what he has going on, but... All right. Pray for him. (laughs) Pray for him. All right. Everyone pray for Judd Weeby. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts Usador, the Blue Wizard and Chunt, the Shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers, wedding planners, ambulatory trees but this week we have a special episode I am so excited to learn about the earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're gonna do a book club of Pride and Prejudice and you say this is a well-loved book on earth right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more likely it's one of those I'm gonna get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food over book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian. And Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not Not enough enough sword sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book! 